good with everybody? I'm Big Brother J. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. And today we're talking about three ways you can take down that stubborn belly fat for good. Number one is to reduce your sugar levels, especially those sugary drinks. We all know sugar is a big problem when you're trying to lose weight. Numerous studies have shown that excess sugar, mostly due to the large amounts of fructose, can lead to increased buildup of fat in the belly and liver. Liquid sugar is even worse. Liquid calories don't get registered by the brain in the same way as solid calories. So when you drink sugar sweetened beverages, you end up eating more total calories altogether. Instead of drinking sugary beverages, just drink some water. This one simple change can have a big effect on your belly weight loss. A lot of drinks have hidden sugar and high valerie high calorie counts. So make a good choice and choose water instead. Sugar can create an inflammatory response in the body, putting the body in a stressed out state. And when the body experiences inflammation and stress, the preferred, the preferred storage site is fat in and around the belly. Not only does sugar promote this fat storage, but sugar and refined carbs spike insulin levels in the body, which signals the body to store fat. When a lot of fat and a lot of sugar is added into the bloodstream at one time instead of a slow, steady release that happens when one eats unprocessed plant foods, the pancreas senses the spike in sugar and produces a lot of insulin to manage the sugar spike. The job of insulin is to move sugar out of the bloodstream into cells so that it doesn't damage the blood vessels. It's essential to be aware of the hidden sugars in foods. It's hard enough to avoid the sugars that we know about, but some go by names that people may not always understand. One of the most overlooked problematic sugars is high fructose corn syrup. Others include cane sugar, cane juice, molasses, etc. Foods like granola bars, ketchup, yogurt, or breakfast cereals, they also have hidden sugars. If you're not some if you're not sure if something has sugar, read the labels and look for those lesser known names of sugar. Number two is upping your protein intake. If weight loss is your goal, then adding protein is something perhaps the single most effective change that you can make to your diet. There is also some evidence that protein is particularly effective against belly fat. One study showed that the amount of quality protein consumed was closely related to the fat in the belly. In other words, people who ate more protein had much less fat in their bellies. So to lose belly fat, Make an effort to eat more protein-rich foods like meat, fish, eggs, nuts. By upping your protein intake, particularly quality protein, you will have less abdominal fat. Protein also includes the PYY hormone, which makes you feel fuller and makes you feel satiated for much longer. I highly recommend adding a scoop of quality protein powder to your porridge, smoothies, cookies, cakes, whatever you're eating, so you can easily up your protein intake. If you find protein powders make you feel, let's say, gassy or bloated, I suggest avoiding whey proteins that can aggravate the digestive system and opt for a more plant-based protein powder that contains hemp or fava beans. Number three is to do the right exercises. When you think of losing belly fat, you think about doing a bunch of crunches and different ab exercises. While these can be good to build up your abdominal muscles, doing endless amounts of sit-up won't make you lose belly fat. Abdominal exercises can help you tone the belly. Sit-ups and crunches are particularly effective for strengthening the core and to toning the rectus abdominis, transverse abdominis, and oblique muscles. Unfortunately, in a misguided effort to burn belly fat, many people over-engage in abdominal exercises. Excessive crunches and sit-ups can actually put stress on the lower back and your neck, leading to injury. So which exercise is most effective for losing belly fat? I would say aerobic exercise like walking, running, swimming, etc. These have been shown to cause major reductions in belly fat. So if you want to do abdominal exercises, you can make them a part of your fitness routine. But make sure, that, make sure you are adding in aerobic exercise as well. Do crunches burn belly fat? The answer to this question is no. Crunches in a fitness routine don't burn belly fat, but they can help you tone your abs and sculpt them into a six pack if done correctly. For example, 
Try doing 30 reps of sit-ups with your knees bent 90 degrees instead of doing 100 crunches. The rep range is lower and more intense because it targets the lower abs much easier. If you implement the tips that I've laid out in this video, you'll be able to send that belly fat packing in no time. It's me, your boy, big brother, Jay, and I appreciate you taking time out your busy day to spend with me. I got all my little social media links in the description just in case you want to spread the love. Right now, it's just kind of TikTok, YouTube shorts, but we're working on it. Stay blessed, and we're going to get there together. I'll be here all week.